Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We are in Psalm 119. Hope you had a great Easter weekend. I know we did, and I hope you did as well. Um, verse 121 out of Psalm 119. We're getting close to the end here. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Just start right there. Just say right off the bat. <clears throat> Lord, you know how I am. I have sought you, and I have done my best to please you. So, Lord, don't let my pressures run over me. I shouldn't, you know, this, is, this isn't going to happen. This is not going to happen. I don't see that as a haughty statement or, or as a statement of pride. I see it as someone saying, Lord, I, I know my heart, and I have done what's right before you. 122, be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. My eyes fail from seeking your salvation and your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your mercy and teach me your statutes. <clears throat> I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they have regarded your law as void. Therefore, I love your commandments more than gold, yes, than fine gold. Therefore, all your precepts concerning all things I consider to be right. I hate every false way. A couple of things about this that I just want to bring out. Um, I see David as kind of putting himself and uh, on the side of right. And those who are doing things immorally, wrong, illegally, he puts them on the side of wrong. And uh, so when I look at verse 126, it's time for you to act, the Lord, for they regarded your laws void. David's saying, listen, Lord, I know what you want. And Lord, they're not listening to you. Deal with them, Lord. I know, Lord, that uh, I, I, I know who, who you are. I know your ways. I, I get you. They don't care anything about you. You see, the, the reality is that when, if you're on the side of the Lord, you're on the winning side. And, uh, you know, David throughout is saying, you know, Lord, check me out. Lord, you know my heart. You know me. But Lord, you need, the Lord, I'm, I'm asking for you to act on this because, Lord, they're ruining your word, your name. And uh, David hates everything that, that's anti-God, that's anti-Jehovah. He said, I love your commandments more than gold. And it is, it's, it's like uh, digging in the Word is like digging in a uh, gold mine. There's so many nuggets here. If you'll take the time to just read the Word and look beyond the, 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 the ink on the page. And listen to what the Lord is speaking. You'll find that it's like a gold mine. There are always nuggets of truth and amazing things waiting to be revealed to your heart. Verse 128. Therefore, all your precepts concerning all things I consider to be right. Now, see, I love this. Lord, whatever you say, you're right. Oh, does it contradict my feelings? You're right. Does it contradict my feelings? friends or their actions or their thoughts you're right does it contradict the way business is being handled well you're right he's always right his precepts what he says what he establishes is always right and he's just saying here lord you're right always if i want to know what to think your word tells me what's right if I'm thinking what's wrong and your word's different than what I think, then the word is right. My thoughts are wrong. All your precepts concerning everything, I consider you to be right. That's just the way it is. And I hate every false way. He ends it with that. <clears throat> Anything that is anti-you, anti-word, anti-Jehovah, I hate it. I hate it. Think about that for a second. Do we have that same 
hatred for things that draw away from the Lord. There's a lot in here. If you just took a little bit of time and thought about it, anything that takes you away from God isn't good. Do you hate every false way? Good question to ask yourself today. Father, bless the hearers and doers today. Cause the word to take root in them and not simply expose them, though we always need to be exposed, but restore us to give us hope, to give us faith and confidence. We trust you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.